Okay, so what we're doing today is we are multiplying a polynomial, okay, that's an expression with two or more terms, by a monomial. A monomial is an expression that has one term. So we're taking one term and we're multiplying it by something that has two or more terms. So how many terms are inside the bracket? One, two. All we're doing today is multiplication. The reason I know this is multiplication is because I see a bracket here. And we know that brackets means multiplication, right? If I wrote this, what would the answer be? Joanne? 10. Okay, whenever you see brackets, you know that you have to multiply. You're taking 5 and you're multiplying it by 2. So we're doing the same thing here, except you have to multiply the number outside the bracket or the term outside the bracket, and you want to distribute it, multiply it by everything inside the bracket in order. I have to take the number 2, and I'm going to multiply it first by the first term, which is 3x. So what's 2 times 3? What's 2 times 3x? 6x. That's it? And then I'm going to take the number 2 again and multiply it by the second term. What's the second term? Positive 1. What's positive 2 times positive 1? Positive. Positive 2. That's it. That's the answer. Done. As a quick review, you should know this. But whenever the signs are the same, so if I have two positives or two negatives, the answer is positive. If the signs are different, the answer is negative. That's one way you can remember it, okay? Copy that down. Okay, so we have to be careful with the signs again. So I'll just write that in the corner. Okay, so we're doing the same thing. We're multiplying. We're taking the term outside the bracket and multiplying it separately by everything inside the bracket. So what is the term outside the bracket? What number is it? Negative 3. So I first need to multiply it by, what's the first term inside the bracket? X squared. What is negative 3 times x squared? Negative 3 x squared. So we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to take negative 3, and this time we're going to multiply it by the second term inside the bracket, positive x. What is a negative times a positive? Negative. What's 3 times x? 3x. Simple? What's the last step here? Take the term outside the bracket, so negative 3, and multiply it by what? Positive or negative 2? Negative 3 times negative 2 is positive. 6. Multiply. Who said 5? Multiplication. And that's the answer. That's it. That's all we're doing. Take the term outside the bracket and multiply it by everything inside the bracket. All we're doing is expanding. We're expanding this expression. We're, we're simplifying it, okay? You should have learned this previously. When you multiply sh powers with the same base, what do you do with the exponents? Do you add or subtract them? You should have learned this at the beginning of the year. You add the exponents. So for example, let's do a quick example here. x to the power of 2 times x to the power of 3. What would that be equal to? x to the power of? Add the exponents. What's 2 plus 3? x to the power of 5. This one. Try this one. What's x to the power of 4 times x to the power of 2? What would that be equal to? x to the power of? Yes, just add the exponents. 4 plus 2 is 6. What's x to the power of 10 times x to the power of 5? Okay, good. So let's, try, let's do this one together. If I have 4x times 3x to the power of 2. If there's no exponent, what number is it to the power of? You have to put a 1 there, okay? If it's just x, it's, it means that it's x to the power of 1, okay? So to multiply this, we're going to do the numerical part first. What is 4 times 3? Okay. What is 
x to the power of 1 times x to the power of 2. x to the power of? Good. Okay, that's the first one. Next. Watch and look at this, and then you can copy it after, okay? What is 4x to the power of 1 times, what am I multiplying it by? 8. What am I multiplying it by? Don't yell out answers. No, not 2x. Negative 2x, thank you. Positive times a negative is a negative. What's 4 times 2? What's x to the power of 1 times x to the power of 1? x to the power of 2. Then last but not least, we have, again, 4x to the power of 1 times 1. What's 4x times 1? Positive 4x. Anything times 1 is just the number itself or the term itself. That's it. That's the answer. So we have negative 2w times negative 5w squared. Negative times a negative is a 2 times 5. W to the power of 1 times W to the power of 2 is W to the power of? Good. Then we have negative times a positive is a negative. 2 times 3. W to the power of 1 times W to the power of 1. W to the power of? Good. Negative times a negative is a 2W times 1. Raise your hand if you got this.